Good afternoon, my name is Ralph Friedrichs and welcome to Take Your Life Back. I'm sorry I've been gone for a few days. I've been uh, studying uh, and working hard on uh, achieving my goal at becoming a addiction recovery coach. And uh, before we go further into our subject, I just want to give a shout out to my mentor and my trainer over at Starting Point, Dr. Luis Gonzalez. He's over at 844 Four one four eight four four four, and that's startingpointmn.com. That's S T A R T I N G P O I N T M N dot com. Dr. Luis Gonzalez, uh, what he does there is he does uh, two things. The first thing would be for coaching people uh, in recovery how to live daily with your addiction and how to fight your addiction and 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 look for all the things that uh, are available tool wise to further educate you about your addiction whether it being alcohol and or drugs and on the other hand he does exactly what I'm doing and which is uh, turning you into an addiction coach his uh, program is uh, terrific uh, it was uh, quite a pleasure to to have him train me. He has been training me. I'm not completed. I still have things to do, but I just want to give a shout out to that starting point over at uh, 844-414-8444. That's T A R T I N G P O I N T M N dot com. Starting point. That's Dr. Luis Gonzalez. Go and check him out there. Uh, you'll also see a commercial. If you actually are watching this video, you probably saw his commercial. Write that number down. Give him a call. Find out if you are is what it takes to become a coach. And I'm sure you are. You just needed to, uh, uh, to, to have the interest, the professionalism. You need to have the personality. And uh, you also need to have that passion too. So uh, go and check him out. I also want to give a shout out to Pam Hemphill. And she's over at Time to Heal Recovery TV Talk Show. Uh, she's gracious enough to run my commercials. Uh, I also run all her sh talk shows on my website at www.clearviews.info. That's C L E A R V I E W S. dot info. Uh, Pam Hempill is uh, sober for 36 years. Congratulations! Uh, again, uh, she just celebrated that two weeks ago, and she did not want to take the token that goes with the 36 years. But what she wanted was the 24-hour token. And folks, uh, she is so right. You need to do 24 hours of time. I always do say that if you cannot go with the extent of 24 hours, break them down into three six-hour shifts. If that's too much, break it down even further. Like, it, like I always say in all my videos, if it's 11 o'clock now, I'm shooting for 11.02. That gives me two minutes of guaranteed sobriety. So make your goals small. And achievable don't set your goals too far and too high today's subject and that's oh I'm sorry that's uh, Pam Hemphill and she's over at uh, www.facebook.com backslash time slash two slash heal slash recovery slash talk slash TV slash show and you also find our www.youtube.com slash channel slash UC uh, space W L Y V K. You'll find her over there. Uh, you also find her on my website www.clearviews.info. Today we're going to talk about uh, something a little bit different than we usually because we always talk about relapses and we talk about what to watch out for and uh, and and how to improve ourselves. But we never hardly ever talk about the 101 helpful tips on how you can stay clean and sober. I know 101 tips is a lot. Even if I concentrate 30 seconds on each, that's a lot of minutes. But here it goes. Don't under, underestimate your disease. Every single person does at first. So don't underestimate it. Your disease is strong, it's effective, and it spreads. So you need to be uh, like a soldier, like a Marine, is fight and fight against it. So that would be your tip number one. And I'm not going to go through tip number two, three, four, five by identifying by the number. We're just going to go through the 101. So that was number one. Number two, take care of yourself spiritually. Whatever your higher power is, mine is God. Remember, when you seek your higher power, and you ask for guidance and direction, your higher power will be there to guide you. Uh, be mindful of that of your connection to your higher power today. You need to you know, take a few seconds out every day and thank the Lord. In my case, it would be the Lord. Thank the Lord for, for that you're alive, that you're 
battling addiction that you're sober and you're sober right now so thank him ignore dismal relapse rates don't go by statistics you are not a statistic you be other than that statistic and remember what I uh, choose to call a setback everyone else refers to as a relapse I call it a setback because it's a bump in the road you get up pick yourself up take a self inventory and keep going make a zero tolerance policy with yourself concerning relapse or a setback don't even allow your mind to go there just never think about the uh, setback that you possibly could face just keep going forward avoid fundamentalization even in recovery rigid thinking and Dogma can determine your sobriety, or it can also undermine your sobriety. So don't let it happen. You are creating a life of recovery, and you are responsible for all of it. You are. Yes, others can help you. People like Pam, people like Dr. Luis Gonzalez, they can all help you. But at the end of the day, their help is mere advice. That's my job as a coach. My job as a coach is to be the bridge between your addiction and your sobriety. And I'm, I'm the bridge to help you achieve and maintain and educate you with your sobriety. So it's up to you to recover. You are the uh, king of your own castle when it comes to that. Yes, we are here to help. I'm here as a future coach, Dr. Luis Gonzalez, who's been around for 32 years, 31, 32 years. Um, he's written a book or two. So he's here. Then you have Pam. Uh, she, you can find her on Facebook. You can find her on my website. You can find her on YouTube. We're all here to help. Don't confuse enthusiasm for action. Figure out what you need to do to stay sober. And action and enthusiasm. You can be enthusiastic all you want. I'm going to do it. Yes, I am recovered. I'm going to stay sober. But unless you have an action plan, it doesn't matter. You need to have an action plan. Listen to what the relapsing addicts keep preaching. Then do the opposite. Do you understand what that means? Whatever they're telling you obviously hasn't worked. They've been relapsing, being set back. So don't listen to them. Take care of your social network. Reach out to others in, in a meaningful way. Seek out other people's uh, going through recovery. Work with them. Talk to them. Exchange war stories. Do that. Figure out a way to help other addicts and alcoholics. We just addressed that. If you attend 12-step meetings and find that one too, uh, to be too demanding, consider HI meetings, taking meetings into jails and treatment centers. That is exactly what I am planning on doing. I am going to be the bridge between the hospital rehab stay and the sobriety at the end of the road. I'm going to be the bridge from an inmate coming out of jail to sobriety at the end of the road. Use mindfulness and heighten awareness to overcome ego. Let go of your ego. Remember, you, you weren't stronger than this addiction because you look where you are. Use mediation to overcome self and take that self-inventory. Practice forgiveness. It is so much easier to practice forgiveness. And you know what? It's not the person you forgive that will get the relief. It's you that will get the relief. Forgive all of your past transgressors. Forgive yourself. You must do this to get a long-term relief in resentment. Let it all go. Be aware of diminishing returns and spread out your recovery efforts. Don't fo focus on just spiritual growth. You need there's certain steps, there's certain things. Spiritual growth is one. Recovery tools are another. There are many other things that need to be done. Rearrange all furniture in your house. Anything to get through the night sometimes. Now that's an interesting one. So you know what? Put the couch on the opposite side of the wall today. <laughs> Clean your house from top to bottom, same as above. Go for a long walk, the beach walks, the path by the pond walks, they work. Adopt a pet and take care of it, that's the key word. Don't adopt a pet if you can't take care of it. If you're having problems taking care of yourself, don't adopt a pet, but if you're pretty stable, your life feels balanced, adopt a pet. Get a gourmet meal, cook a gourmet meal, eat a gourmet meal. Practice the arts, paint, draw, sculpt, sing, dance, etc. Believe it or not, we're up to number 22. S Excuse me one second, I'm going to turn this music down. Okay, that was a little overwhelming. Okay, sorry. 
Number 22. See a therapist. Sometimes coaching isn't just enough that you're seeing a coach. Sometimes even when the coach speaks to you and listens to you, he, he or she might advise uh, in, a, in a passionate way to possibly seek a therapist. Work on a puzzle. The puzzles work on long plane rides. They work on long train rides. They'll work on your extended forever sobriety. Connect with someone who uh, someone else who is hurting. In other words, there's somebody else as bad as you as far as your emotional status with sobriety or your physical status. So connect with them. Excuse me one second. Well, today's not a good day, is it? For Okay, let me bring that down. And there we go. Sorry about that. Uh, start a project that's bigger than yourself. Any project. My project for today, other than doing this video was uh, building a countertop so I can do some eyeglasses in, in this room. Oh, in case you're wondering, why is the background different than usual? Well, we have company, so my father is in the bedroom watching TV. My wife, for this week, has the night shift, so she's in the living room on the couch. So I kind of found myself in this room. Uh, so this is, this is where all the eyeglasses uh, uh, get uh, uh, processed through here. Uh, so you get to see my workplace a little bit, okay? Uh, revisit an old hobby. What was it that you used to do? Was it trains, flying a kite, running? Revisit that. Learn something new each day, anything. With me, uh, it was uh, learning how to do a commercial that I was able to do. So that's always something new to learn. Learn, um, write a daily journal. What is your journal? My videos, my website is my journal daily as I come to the end of my uh, addiction coach recovery program and uh, once I pass the final exam and I do become a certified coach I will be doing eyeglasses still but I also will then at that point uh, part-time also do coaching and part of my uh, journal then will be to extend my original website, which is an information that's clearviews.info, to another website. And uh, I already named it, I already purchased it, but it's not up and running yet. But it will be called Clear Reform. So you have Clear Views, those are the views of uh, alcoholics and people in addiction, and then clearreform.com is uh, reform means to change or uh, reform in a uh, reformation uh, is to change it's to uh, do something different so my website will be www.clearreform.com it should be up and running within a week or two once I pass and I'm certified I might uh, consider doing uh, here and there some coaching and uh, it is people like you possibly that might need me uh, just as much as I still need coaching by other people. So uh, keep keep tuned for that. Uh, stretch yourself spiritually by suspending disbelief for the day. Get rid of the negative feeling, the neg negative thoughts. Get rid of them all. Write a letter to your addiction where you say farewell. See you later, addiction. I'm done with you. But remember that while recovering, your addiction is always going to be there. When I say say farewell, saying farewell is by supplying the tools. It's almost like your addiction is the devil. And uh, you're throwing holy water on the devil. The devil is going to back off. Well, if you educate yourself on how to live with your addiction, how to, how to uh, work with your addiction, it's like the holy water on the devil. Your addiction is the devil. Let's go. Join recovery from online. You can do that. They have AA online. I'm online. Uh, different methods. The only thing that you can do online is, of course, when you have to check into a rehab. That will not happen online. We're going to discuss that a little later. Start a free blog over a blogger and tell the world about your progress in recovery. Do it on Facebook. They have blogs for free. Figure out your own tips on staying sober. Folks, when we discuss on di different methods, we'll discuss on how I can stay sober. My methods, my website, my videos, are educational for me as well as for you reconnect with your family and spend time with them go back to school when uh, I went to dr. Lewis Gonzalez from uh, starting point.com 
or startingpointmn.com. Uh, that is uh, indirectly going back to school for me, and uh, I am, uh, you know, doing all the courses that I require to, to achieve my goal of being a certified recovery uh, coach, and, and, and that's what it is. So go back to school. Learn a new skill or a trade. If you don't know how to create a blog, learn how to do it. I had this discussion with my father. It's unfortunate that my father's age group and people possibly 10 years younger, uh, computers weren't around when they were growing up. However, my explanation to people uh, that uh, utilize that as a crutch is that uh, you need to change with times. If you retire and you have nothing else to do, you can go to your local library and they would be more than happy to help you and teach you how to use a computer. So folks, look for a new trade. Don't sit back and, and utilize the old saying of, well, I didn't learn that because you're never too young to learn. If your mind is working, so are you. Sponsor a newcomer. You can do that, but only sponsor if you truly feel that you're strong enough to sponsor. Because remember, if you're not strong enough to even make your life a balanced life, then, then it's not a good idea to take somebody under your wing. So be careful. Make a commitment to a chair meet, meeting each week. Celebrate the recovery of a friend, somebody like Pam, Pam Hemphill, from Time to Heal. Celebrate 36 years. So congratulations, Pam. Spend time with your family again. Email spiritual river guy and him and let him know your problems. There is a spiritual river guy that you can hypothetically just call whatever you want and it's to uh, any person that you that you want to uh, you know let me tell you folks something sometimes also you can pen pal someone in in jail um, you know of course you don't want to give out your personal information as such but there might be somebody in need not only for your recovery and addiction advice but also for spiritual advice and emotional well-being so be that better person. Make your life a balanced life. Try a new form of me uh, mediation. Also meditation. We can keep going with the M words, but mediation, meditation. Mediation would be between you and your coach or your therapist. Meditation would be yoga or something. Write a to-do list. Folks, I'm sitting here in front of my laptop, and in front of me I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight large but this big cards with a to-do list for this video for you for me so write a to-do list practice humility always be in a learning mode it's never too young to learn something new forgive yourself and move on with your life folks we've all done bad things in our life we've all disappointed other people but you need to let go of the past and think for today for today's 24 hours and then move on Sit down and write two goals out, of, uh, out for yourself. What are your two goals? My goal for today, uh, I've had a few actually. My first one was to do my countertop, which this laptop is sitting on in my office, and it's completed. My other one was to do a video. I haven't been able to do a video in three days. I've been studying. I've been doing courses. I've been doing the web air uh, with a starting point mn.com with dr lewis gonzalez so his web air and one of these days i'll actually give a piece of that web air not particularly with me on it but just to show you folks and what you can do folks if you're out there and you're watching this and you've been in recovery for some time and and you feel a calling like i felt that god was calling me to be a recovery coach uh reach out to him 844-414-8444 Reach out to Dr. Luis Gonzalez and go to startingpoint.com. That's S T A R T I N G P O I N T M N dot com. Go to him. Let him teach you how to be an addiction recovery coach, a certified one. If you notice in the back here, I have a lot of degrees and a lot of certifications. And Dr. Gonzalez, uh, when we're on the web exchanging pictures, he says, Do you have enough room for another one up there? And folks, I have three clipboards that I'll move. I will never stop educating myself. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. You're never too old to educate yourself. You're never too old to learn something. And every time you get a new certification, a new plateau, a new achievement, a new accomplish accomplishment, it's making you feel better. It's building up your self-esteem. And it keeps your mind fresh. Let's go to the next. Go back to school. We just discussed that. Learn a new skill or trade, we discussed that. Sponsor a newcomer. 
Make a commitment to chair a meeting each week. We discussed that. Um, inspire someone else to grow. Challenge them to be a better person in some way. I challenge you watching me, wherever you might be, your living room, kitchen. I challenge you to be a better person. And I don't want to hear, oh, well, <laughs> I don't know how I can do that because I'm pretty good. No. Sit back. Do your pros and cons. And look at your weak points. Those weak points become pros if you work on them. That's an improvement. So what your pros and your cons are, those cons, when you improve them, actually go into the pros. Work on it. Inspire someone else to grow. Challenge them to be a better person in some way. Encourage them through your own success and your own examples. Lead by example. Perfect scenario in life. It's lead by example. If you don't want to do it, you don't want to uh, get down and dirty to do it. Don't expect other people to do it. Learn to relax. Find your quiet place. This is a quiet place. I asked my father to stay in his room and watch his TV. My wife is sleeping. Back door, the door's shut. Usually there's a litter box in here. I took it out so the cats don't knock on the door. Meow, meow, they need to come in. This is my quiet time. Some classical music in the background. This is you and me, quiet time. I want to help you by helping me and vice versa. Elevate your consciousness. Watch your own mind and see how it responds to events. Repeat them over and over again. Find the beauty in life. Appreciate all of it. Be grateful in the beauty of life. Ask yourself with each decision, is this the healthiest choice for me right now? Is it the healthiest choice for you right now? Be grateful for your existence. Thank your higher power. My God, I thank. Every time I wake up, I'm alive. Another day, another video possibly. So be thankful. Don't look for the negative. Be thankful for the positive. Turn off your television read a book. When you read a book, it, it, it your mind is being worked. It's like years. They're all turning. Uh, a TV, we just sit back and we relax and sometimes we doze off. And that can happen with a book too. However, your mind works harder with a book because you're looking at each and every word. Use overwhelming force to conquer a goal. No matter what, if you set a goal, don't stop. Go forward within reason and uh, legal sense. Whatever your goal is, achieve it. Because you can do it. Because if you believe it here, you can achieve it there. Your living room, your bedroom. No matter where, kitchen, no matter where you're, where you're watching that, if you believe it here, you can achieve it there. Write your bucket list, then act on it. Figure out your life purpose. Write out a fourth step and share it with your sponsor. You know what your fourth step is. Now, we'll discuss methods, so I'm not going to discuss AA too much right now because uh, that's not one of my methods. But anyway, that's if that's what you're going to do. Take care of yourself physically and exercise. You know, I did a... Um, uh, a pr little rating system with uh, Dr. Luis Gonzalez from Starting Point and I rated the least number from a 1 to 10 scale being um, the least number of one of my uh, categories which was physical and I rated that as a 7 the rest were either 8s or 9s the reason in the physical it needs to be improved because I find a tendency of sitting whether I'm doing my videos or I'm doing my work for uh, eyeglasses online I find myself sitting a lot and uh, that's one of my things that is on the pros and cons is on the con uh, that I need to improve to bring it onto the pro side. Take care of yourself physically, exercise daily, take a walk, no excuses, that includes me Ralph, no excuses. Keep your priorities straight, physical uh, is, is number one. Because keep in mind that your physical being is what you are. Once the physical part and the heart goes, you're not existing anymore. Keep a high price on your serenity. Don't sacrifice it for just anyone with whims. Use a sponsor for stage two and recovery. Again, this is related to the AA people out there. Let them guide you through holistic living. Take care of yourself mentally. Go back to school. Get a degree, get a diploma, get a certification. Mentally, you can do it. It keeps your mind fresh. It's a goal, too. Practice humility and stay teachable. Always be learning. 
I don't care who you are. You can sit here until you blew in your face and you can tell me you don't need to learn. You do need to learn. Everybody needs to learn. Don't pin your hopes on a short stay in rehab. It takes more than that because remind you, no matter if it's 30, 60, or 90 day program, when you come out, you need that bridge between rehab and sobriety, endless sobriety. There has to be a bridge, that gap. Who can that bridge be? Besides your higher power, could be a person like myself, to be certified recovery addiction coach. Could be Dr. Lewis uh, Gonzalez from uh, over at startingpointmn.com. It could be a person like Pam M. Hill from Time to Heal TV talk show. She's also a counselor. Uh, she's also a coach, actually. People like that, utilize them. Uh, let's see, where were we? Go to a long term treatment and be done with it. But the decision I ever made, make it your best one. Don't pin your hopes on a short stay in rehab. We said that. Uh, call your sponsor. In, in my case or in your case, if you're utilizing me, call me. And we're going to address a couple of those issues in a little while. And if you don't have one to call, get one. In an AA sense, you can get one. In my methods, you can get one. In a rehab, they'll help you. Whatever. Use zero tolerance when it comes to self-pity. Get off the pity party routine that train you are accountable for where you are right now you're accountable for your past you're accountable for today and you're accountable for tomorrow stop with the blame game it doesn't work because you can sit there all you want and blame anyone around you but ultimately it comes down to you join a recovery forum plenty of them online and if you don't ha uh, find one create one Pam Hempel, she has Time to Heal group. That's a forum. Create something like that on Facebook, and it's free of charge, unless you want to promote it. Use outpatient tr treatment. If that works for you, take it as seriously as possible and connect with the others in your group. Meditate. We talked about that. Yoga is good. This one, pray. Higher power, spirit, uh, spiritual. You need to do that. Go out for coffee with a friend in recovery. Never say no about going out when you're first in recovery. Because the minute you say no to someone, I'm talking about within reason. You're going out for coffee, going for lunch. Somebody says, let's go to a bar. No. Somebody says, let's go in to the drug dealer. No. Somebody says, let's go get coffee. Yes. Lunch. Yes. Church. Yes. Therapist. Yes. Do you see what I'm saying? So do that. Find your passion. My passion would be this. Three days not doing videos, other than the fact that uh, hundreds of emails that I got or texts, where are your videos? I felt like a fish out of water because I need you folks, you my audience, as much as you need me. We work together. This is our method of recovery. This is my message to you and back, a reflection back to me. Work out. Join a church. Volunteer. Volunteer work is so important in life anyway, whether it's addiction and recovery or not. Volunteer work. Because I had this talk with my father, and uh, my father's Germans ascend. Uh, so um, I mentioned karma, and of course, you know, obviously he didn't know what that meant. And I explained what it means is what you dish out is what comes back. What goes around comes around. And I do believe when you help somebody, somebody will help you it might not be today it might not be next week but it will happen so put in get out put in get out that's the bottom line what you put into your children you're gonna get out of your children if you put negativity into your children you put abuse into your children they're gonna grow up and do the same so folks karma take care of yourself emotionally don't get knocked too far off your square Take care of your emotion. Take that self-inventory daily. Work with that. If you feel that there are some issues that need to be addressed, seek your higher power, seek your coach, seek your therapist. But your, your uh, mental capacity is very important in a lot of these things because if you're not too mentally um, uh, stable uh, as far as 
being comfortable in the balanced life that you have right now that will affect you in every which way so far we went to 85 or 86 and at least there's going to be uh, 81 of those that are going to be affected if you're not well balanced and you need to be well ba balanced physically and mentally Co in combination both together I'm more balanced mentally than I am physically and I'm not saying that I'm out of shape and all that but I'm not in my Marine Corps year shape which I which I wish I was and at the age of 52 of course I'll never be that again however I have been lacking I've been also uh, eating more candies and chips and all that and uh, all these things need to be addressed at, at a, a, a time or another but for today this is what I'm going to do because I'm here for you and I want you here for me uh, go to meetings whether it be AA meetings talking to me is a meeting this video is a meeting we're meeting right now this is a meeting this is not set up by announcement of any sort but it's a meeting we're meeting together we're talking we're going over 101 helpful tips on staying sober and clean don't pin your hopes on a long-term treatment don't 24 hours a time break it down to even less if you have to but never exceed 24 hours use learn term thinking care for yourself network with others and pursue conscious growth growing is part of life the minute you don't seek to further yourself whether it's mentally whether it's physically whether it's emotionally the minute you stop doing that is when everything collapses picture this you have a house standing and you take one wall away that's your mentally then you take your physical being which is another wall now you have a house that used to have four walls only you have two that house will collapse yes the foundation will be there but the structure came down your foundation will be there but if you don't take care of your mental physical and emotional well-being your structure will come down your body will be there the foundation but everything around you will come down so you need to work on your your emotional your mental and your physical well-being daily take self inventories when you take that self inventory think about what needs to be addressed at the utmost urgent time and address them don't ask why me why me why do I have to go to treatments why do I even have to watch Ralph's videos well you don't have to watch if you are watching I'm assuming you're doing on your own free will if you go into meetings if you go into treatment centers because you are accountable you have created this and it is now time for us to reunite our unwell being situations and that could be the mental physical emotional and the addiction and battle the addiction together so we need to come together so stop with the why me and I'll tell you why it's yours because you let it happen for this long like I let it happen for this long but it's now time to let go of the past let's deal with today's 24 hours and I'll see you in 24 hours again and we'll continue and I'm not saying about the video I'm just saying in general deal with 24 hours call a friend in recovery maybe you have a friend that's in a treatment center with me I have at least nine or ten people that I'm not as much as I'd like to consistently working with uh, maybe out of those ten about six have kind of strayed and and that is expected what most people choose to call relapse is a setback for me in other words when I say setback for me I choose to call it a setback these six out of the ten people that I'm religiously trying to help here are having setbacks yes it is my job to constantly educate them I can only supply them the videos the text the uh, the emails as for encouragement but it's ultimately up to them to reach out to me I will always be there and if they do have a relapse setback I will be here my arm is extended I will grab them and take them right back in and we'll keep going there is no yesterday at that point we start all over again it was a stumble we pulled ourselves up and we keep going uh, don't live in fear of a relapse I wasted five years on this now 
I actually wasted more than that. Um, I don't know why I wrote five. I meant to say seven, but I wasted seven years. So don't waste seven years. I could have been smart enough to be where I am today, seven years ago. No, actually it would be eight and a half years ago. But you know what? My addiction and the alcohol were stronger than my willpower, than my thinking, than my the tools I was utilizing. So they were winning until June 22nd, 2013. I said, I am done, folks. Addiction, you better run and you better hide because I'm out here to battle you one-on-one. -on -one. Raise the bar. No pun intended. Stop settling. Use your talents as a gift to the world and make a difference in some way. I'm using my gift that I'm able to communicate with you and I'm semi-comfortable in front of a camera. That is raising the bar and, uh, and, and stop settling for anything less. I could just sit back and continue with my recovery, but this is my passion, this is my goal, and this is here for you and for me. That's what it comes down to. Live consciously. Set deliberate goals and go after them with overwhelming force. If you set a goal, don't just say, next week I'm going to do this. You need to do and go. People are amazed and sometimes even pointed out to me, of, don't you ever stop. But folks, the minute you stop and the minute you sit back is the minute you get comfortable. Your mind relaxes, which is your mental and your emotional. And then your physical part gets too relaxed so just keep going if you have the strength to do it keep going shoot for your goals and I always say they're the saying that I really want to say is that uh, put both feet on the ground and reach for the stars and that's what I always tell people I had to think because it's been a while but the person I got that saying from uh, is the uh, uh, what was his name uh, Kaysen Casey Kaysen I think it was a radio talk show. He used to always say that in the beginning or at the end uh, of his uh, radio shows. And he would say, put both feet on the ground and reach for the stars. And it's so true. Because if you just... And, and the reason you want to put the feet down is because it's a stable foundation. And then just keep reaching. Everything is reachable. Just keep reaching for it. Embrace the creative life and recovery and live it. That's what you need to do. So we just quickly... In 36 minutes, addressed 101 tips on how to stay clean and sober. I'm going to quickly go over a couple highlights with them, then we're going to dive right into our usual uh, message. Don't un underestimate your disease. Take care of yourself. Ignore dismal re relapse rates. Don't believe the statistics. Make zero tolerance. Avoid fundamentalism. You are creating a life of recovery, and you are responsible for all of it. You are creating... A life of recovery and you are responsible for it. Remember those words. Nobody else. Don't confuse enthusiasm for action. Listen to what the relapsing addicts keep preaching. Take care of your social network. Figure out a way to help others and that are alcoholics or drug addicted. If you attend 12-step meetings, find one that's start sharing. Use mindfulness and heighten awareness to overcome ego. Practice forgiveness. Be aware of diminishing returns. Rearrange all your furniture your house. Clean your house. Go for a long walk. Adopt a pet if you're responsible. Eat a gourmet meal. Cook a gourmet meal. Practice the arts. Paint, draw, sculpture. See a therapist. Get a coach. Work on a puzzle. Connect with someone else that might be uh, hurting. And there are plenty of people out there. Start a project that's bigger than yourself. Revisit an old hobby. Teach someone something new. Learn something new each day. Write a daily journal in my videos. Stretch yourself spiritually. Seek out to your higher power. Write a letter to your addiction where you say, Hey, addiction, I'll see you later. Actually, you know what, addiction? I won't see you later. Don't let the door hit you in the back of your addiction head. Start a free blog. Reconnect with your family. Go back to school. Learn a new skill. Sponsor a newcomer. Make a commitment. Celebrate recovery with a friend. Spend more time with your family. Email spiritual river guy. You know that guy. Email him. Say, I'm done with you. Celebrate in clean time and cake. Celebrate your clean time with cake, I should say. It's almost like a birthday party because you know what? When you relapse and you have a setback and then you hit rock bottom, that is a second birth to you. That is your second birth. You could possibly have three because you're born... 
then you can be a born again Christian and then you can be born again into recovery so you possibly could have three try a new form of uh, mediation write out a to-do list my to-do list is right here what to talk about 101 helpful tips on how to clean scenes uh, clean and sober practice balance practice humility forgive yourself sit down and write two goals and do them anybody can write down I can say I quit drinking did I am I showing myself I don't care what other people are seeing am I showing myself daily that I quit drinking by not drinking by educating myself and uh, by dealing with it today 24 hours inspire someone else to grow learn to relax that's my biggest I'm, I'm talking about pros and cons that's my biggest problem and I need to work on that I need to bring that con into pro area because I don't ever relax and if I do it's because I'm so overwhelmed that I just physically mentally and emotionally can't do it and those are the three structures of our house our, our being and when one of them goes like I said it's emotional structural excuse me emotional mentally or physically one wall goes two walls go the structure comes down the foundation's still there which is your body but the emotional structure the emotional uh, mental structure the physical structure of your home your body will start collapsing so you need to stay and keep those in tune and keep them going well elevate your consciousness be conscious about what's going on be conscious about your recovery and your addiction be conscious about the people around you find the beauty in life God knows life is beautiful if you have a lot of darkness in your home let the Sun come in get rid of the negativity how do you let the Sun come in positive thoughts positive actions quit smoking cigarettes already get rid of them write a poem turn off your television read a book reading keeps the gears moving in your mind use overwhelming force to conquer a goal don't quit on your goal don't because when you quit on your goal you're you're eliminating a goal that was set by you be better than any addiction that can bring you down or any uh, negative uh, feeling because when you conquer a goal that's positive write your bucket list figure out your uh, the purpose of your life what is the purpose of life? my life has been as a husband as a father as an optician as anything to do with optics as now becoming an addiction recovery coach that's my life that's the purpose of my life eventually I will do full-time of addiction recovery coaching because I want to help I know what it's like not to have the help when it comes to my recovery well excuse me when it comes to my addiction I want to extend my arm to you and help you I want to be the bridge between the your days and years of alcoholism and your long-term sobriety let me be that bridge let me help you let me listen to what you have to say take care of yourself physically exercise another one pros and cons it's on this side con for me I will have to get it over here keep your priorities straight list them if you have to keep a high price on your serenity use a sponsor for stage two in recovery that's more for the AA folks take care of yourself mentally one of your structures of your house your house being your body find your own path don't don't let somebody tell you what path to go down there's only one path but there's always a road with a fork you need to choose the right path and the right path would uh, be the one that's going to give you long term sobriety don't pin your hopes on a short stay in the treatment center 30 days is not gonna when you come out make you a fully recovered addict it won't you need to continuously educate yourself and we'll address that in a minute get a sponsor for the AA folks join the recovery form could be this road to recovery literature pray go out for coffee with a friend go see a movie go to a restaurant find your passion my passion is this work out I haven't been doing that that's one of my problems but I will get to it volunteer join a church volunteer is very important karma we spoke about karma go to meetings take care of yourself emotionally definitely one of your walls of your structured walls of your, your building your, your house your body is your house you let the emotional part come down or you let the mental or the physical or all three and your house collapses the structure but you still have your foundation which is you so you need to build those walls up again 
Don't pin your hopes on long term, just like short terms. Use long term uh, thinking. Care for yourself. Don't ask why me. I'm getting tired of why me. That's what you have to say. It's not why you, it's why not me. It's not what I can't, it's what I can do. Do you understand? It's, it's, you have to start thinking positive. Call a friend in recovery. Sit down and write out a gratitude list. I'm sure you have one. I'm grateful for a lot of things. I'm grateful for my wife. I'm grateful for my life. Grateful for children, grandchildren. Parents are still alive. A lot of things to be grateful for. So that list is 99% fuller than what I'm not grateful for. But because everybody has something on a not grateful list. But that list while I was drinking and while I was a drunk, that list of uh, not being grateful was certainly a hundred times longer. But as I became sober and I've been fighting sobri uh, addiction and going through sobriety, a lot of the list of not being grateful has now channeled over to the grateful list because I can see things clearer. That's why my new website, when I start my uh, coaching uh, job or my business, will be Clear Reform. Clear Views is my website where you get all the information that you need but clear reform is how I'm going to show you how to reform yourself raise the bar no pun intended stop settling use your talents as a gift to the world and make a difference in some way everybody can make a difference in someone's life or some people's lives but you can make a difference you just need to know how and that's what all the tools that we talk about are here for Live consciously, set deliberate goals, and go after them with overwhelming force to a limit. Embrace the create, creative life and the recovery and live accordingly. So I recapped on that. We're up to 46 minutes. It's 101 uh, ways of uh, healthy tips. Sorry, that was a bug. Uh, I want to give a shout out and a thank you again to Dr. Luis Gonzalez. Um, he is my professor, my doctor, as far as the educating of me, achieving my goal at a uh, certified addiction recovery coach. As soon as I pass some exams, uh, he will then uh, certify me. And uh, I want to thank him for that. And if you want to do the same, or if you need coaching, go to Starting Point. And his website is www.startingpointmn.com. That's S T A R. T I N G P O I N T N N that's M N dot com. That's starting point M N dot com. You can also call Dr. Luis Gonzalez at 844-414-844. I'm sorry. 1-844-414-8444. Lost I had a swallow there for a minute. And also I want to also shout out to my friend and uh, dear friend Pam Hemphill, and she is the host for Time to Heal Recovery Talk TV show where my commercials are being played and I do believe possibly tomorrow she's reading a short snippet of my bio. Uh, so tune in over there. Uh, you can find her on YouTube at youtube.com backslash channel backslash UC space W L Y V K and also on Facebook you can find her under Time to Heal Recovery Talk TV show. You can find her there. Thank you Pam. Thank you Dr. Gonzalez. Let's go right into real quickly of different methods of um, seeking recovery, seeking tools. And uh, we're going to start with AA. And AA is very structured. Uh, they've been around since 1936. They have the 12 step program. And if we look at the alternative, which would be my methods, uh, I have the 16 alternative steps. Both their 12 steps and my 16 alternative steps are going to get hopefully get you to the same end or the same uh, long journey of sobriety and that is to be sober endlessly until the end of time so you can utilize the 12 steps you can utilize AA you can utilize clearviews.info and eventually clearreform.com and uh, use my website where you have doctors psychiatrists and psychologists dispensing medical information galore you can also uh, see my videos on there. You can also see Pam's videos from Time to Heal TV talk show. She has her Time to Heal little icon. You can also find Dr. Gonzalez's uh, information from straight, uh, Starting Point. You can find his information on there. 
So folks, those are two methods. And then of course, for the one, uh, for the people that really do have the weaker uh, uh, emotional situations where they can't control, when they're being left at alone at home, they can't control their alcohol or drug addiction and you need to be supervised 24-7, uh, you might want to check into a 30, 90, or a 30, 60, or 90 day program. But keep in mind, do not think that you're going to come out of that program and you can just sit back and you'll be recovered. No, that is not the truth of the matter. What you need to do is come out and continuously educate yourself and fight this addiction and learn how to recover. Learn how to continuously stay sober. It's a never-ending uh, educational uh, a guideline that you need to uh, to go by not not one particular way of doing it but there are many different ways but at the end of the day we all want to seek sobriety forever and you need to remember that just because you're going into a rehab center does not make you when you come out to be a hundred percent what it makes you is you detoxed you're with a clear mind starting all over and hopefully your clear mind um, will uh, guide you in the right way your clear mind will help reform yourself to, to being a sober person and uh, hopefully then you'll go to my website uh, by that time which is clearreform.com and uh, I'll work with you uh, if I need to and uh, for the time being because I'm not a coach yet uh, you can utilize uh, Dr. Luis Gonzalez uh, over at uh, startingpointmn.com uh, now so we address that, but there's going to be people that might need to go to rehab or treatment center. And what they're probably saying to themselves is, I don't have insurance and I don't even have Medicaid. What do I do? Folks, after investigating a little bit and with the help of a uh, CEO from a uh, uh, program down in Florida, I was able to uh, find out information. And that information is, is that almost every state does offer rehab, uh, sometimes 10 to 30 day stays uh, with no insurance and uh, no uh, Medicaid. Be alert. These uh, programs will make you enter with the assumption of a hundred percent detox. So if you're serious about doing it, this should not be a problem. But if you're going in there because you're being pressured by other people and you think that you're going to get a doctor to give you a different medication to kind of take the high and give you a new high. It's not going to work. It's not going to happen and they will not take you. So if you're ready for 100% detox, it's the way to go if you don't have insurance, if you're on Medicaid. How do you find out about that? What you can do is email me at ralph.friedrichs at yahoo.com. That's R-A-L-F dot F-R-I-E-D-R-I-C-H-S at yahoo.com. You can text me or call me at 631-599-0218. You can also go to clearviews.info, uh, that's C-L-E-A-R-V-I-E-W-S dot I-N-F-O. You can find information on clearviews.info, which is my website. Go to page seven, hit the state you live in, and then see if there's a location nearby you. Those are treatment centers. Those are rehab centers that I have for every state on page seven. If you don't see it there, go to Google, to your search bar, type in treatment center, rehab, and your location, you're located there. So now we've addressed the issues of uh, method issues, which is my methods, which incidentally work terrific. They really do. Try it. If it doesn't work for you, that's okay, because there are many, many other methods. Go to AA, try them. Go to the rehab or treatment center. Go to your Knights of Columbus, go to YMCA, go to the Lions Club. Try different methods because I went to AA and I tried five, six uh, days of it. I just felt I couldn't just sit in a circle and, and, and not be actively more involved. I needed to uh, be more involved. That's the personality that I carry. That's the person that I am. Uh, I want to roll up my sleeves and dive right into it. And this is how I created clearviews.info. This is how I create these videos. I feel that when I do these videos, it reminds me of how addicted am I. But with the grace of God and with the tools supplied to me and my audience, I fight it every day. And I will fight it today and today only. And then tomorrow morning, I'll wake up and fight tomorrow and tomorrow only. I won't fight next week. Yeah, in the back of my mind, I know I will, but I won't plan on it today. 
I'm planning on today, 24 hours, then tomorrow, 24 hours, and etc. You see how that works. So you have those methods, mine, AA, then you have the treatment centers. Now I want to give a shout out to my friend up north. I haven't heard from you in quite some time, maybe four or five days, but that could be my fault because I've been quite busy with my studying with uh, Dr. Lewis Gonzalez from Starting Point, so I've been busy doing that. So uh, please reach out to me, just send me a text, send me an email, send me a video, not a video, I'm sorry, send me a, a, a comment on my uh, website. Uh, incidentally, for everyone that's listening besides my friend up north, if you go to my website, www.clearviews.info, go to the comments and right there, read the hundreds of comments that people leave me, whether it being good or bad about themselves or me, read them, leave them. I will get back to you. I try to reply. I am now finished. I mean, I still, you know, I'm finished with the uh, web air part of my training. So now I'm going to have more time. I do have to do an exam or two. But I will get back into the routine that I had before. So leave a comment, call me, text me. Let me know how you're doing. This is addressed directly to my friend up north. If you had a setback, get up, dust your knees, pull yourself up, take a self inventory, and move on. Forget the setback, it's done. But don't ever go back into your old abusive ways. Because your old abusive ways give you old results and you know what those results are because you wouldn't be watching me now my for my other friends in texas north carolina florida virginia new hampshire uh, and there's a new one in tennessee and then i have one more in montana folks watch my videos go to my facebook page go to my website educate yourself daily call me text me email me it's possible to do that talk to me but the only way to fight addiction is to educate yourself and stay in contact with somebody that can be your crutch. Let that be me. I will help each and every person that reaches out to me. I say this sometimes. I don't know who you are. I mean, I know the people that I just mentioned in what states they are. But this is for my general audience. I don't know who you are. You know me. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. But in order for me to help you, you need to reach out to me. So let me give you my contact information one more time. It's ralph.friedrichs at yahoo.com. That's R-A-L-F dot F-R-I-E-D-R-I-C-H-S at yahoo.com. Call me at 631-599-0218. Text me there too. You can also go to my website, www.clearviews.info. That's C-L-E-A-R-V-I-E-W-S dot I-N-F-O. Leave a comment there. Go to my Facebook. Now my Facebook page, which is clearviews.info, is directly linked to my website. So if you leave a comment there, it will go to my website. You can also call me on my business phone, which I only listen to the messages. Whatever message you leave is strictly confidential between you and I. And that would be 844-393-9355. So you have all these avenues to get a hold of people. If you need coaching done right now, Call 844-414-8444. Speak to Dr. Luis Gonzalez from Starting Point. If you don't want to speak to him in person, go to his website. Leave a, uh, an email with him. He's over at uh, www.startingpointmn.com. That's S-T-A-R-T-I-N-G-P-O-I-N-T-M-N.com. Let him know that you need help and you'd like to uh, hire him to coach you. Now, if you want to be a coach, you can also go right there. Same information 844-414-8444 if you want to reach out to someone with a lot of experience in, in uh, sobriety you can reach out to Pam from Time to Heal TV talk show her name is Pam Hempel she has the Time to Heal group join her forum get a hold of her talk to her let her know that Ralph sent you if you're gonna get a hold of Dr. Lewis Gonzalez let him know that Ralph sent you together we can all fight Try to remember these 101 helpful tips on staying sober and clean. If you only remember 50, that's 50 more than you probably had this morning. Together, we can work together uh, in, in achieving sobriety daily and fighting this terrible disease called addiction. And keep working at your emotions, at your mentality or your mental stage, 
and your physical stage. Those three are your house, your body. Keep working at with them. Keep working at them. Eliminate TV as much as possible. Stick with books. Get a hobby. Uh, go out and do things. Stop the why me. I can't, but say I can. I won't, and say I will. That's the what you need to do. And when you do that, you'll see that your life will become better. And if it's raining outside, as you look out the window, let the sunshine be in your home, in your kitchen, in your living room. Let the sunshine, let the positive come to you. Because if you stay positive, you will get positive results. Eliminate the negativity. I always want to thank everybody for coming to my show. And I do apologize that I let it go for two, three days. But under the circumstances with my studies and uh, having company, I promise I will continue doing videos. Uh, I'll try to get a couple more in this week. Um, oh, I want to make an announcement. Starting Thursdays, uh, we're going to have a thing called Throwback Thursday, where I'm going to throw a video onto uh, wherever, Google, Twitter, Facebook, and it will be a video uh, from the past. So Thursdays will be Throwback Thursdays, and that idea came from Dr. Luis Gonzalez, and I want to thank him for him. And if you want to thank him for recommending him, you can call me at 844-414-8444. I want to thank everybody for coming. I want to uh, wish everybody a, a happy uh, week. Today is Wednesday, so it's hump day. And always remember that if you believe it here, you can achieve it wherever you might be, in your kitchen, your living room, wherever you might be. But you have to believe it here. And remember, a sober today will definitely make a better tomorrow. That, I promise you. Because every sober day today gives me a better tomorrow. And then thereafter. Thank you very much for coming, and I just want to say, have a sober day, and have a sober week, and please, thank you very much. Have a sober day. God bless you.